Hello folks. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 52 inch Hunter Silent Breeze. I am not sure if this is the Silent Breeze 3, 2, or 1, but I do know that it is a Silent Breeze of some sort. And uh, I actually just got done cleaning this up. It was in really nice shape, you know. I thought I would do something with it, so I'm going to try my luck on eBay. See if I can get a few bucks for it. And it did clean up pretty nicely. It was manufactured on the 17th week of 2001. As you can see, the antique brass cleaned up very nicely. There are a few scratches on like the down rod canopy. I know there was one noticeable scratch on the bottom plate here, and I think that was right there. Really nothing too major. It's in really nice shape. The fan runs silently too. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that now. Here it is in the low speed. I always really liked 90s and early 2000s Hunter antique brass. I thought it was very different than your standard antique brass. It was very rich. Like I said, it's absolutely silent. Bearings are in great shape on it. I can imagine that this was a very low hour unit I bought these out of a, they came out, I got three of them. I sold one already. This is one of the other two that I still have. Uh, they came out of an office building and they didn't really look like they got used a whole lot. Bump it up to medium. It's a very slight hum, but I'm going to blame that on the fact that I just have the fan mounted on a piece of unistrut bolted directly to the ceiling. So if this fan were on a traditional drywall mounting box or a drywall ceiling, I can imagine it would be a lot quieter. Moving's a pretty good air. These Hunters have a 172 millimeter motor, which is larger than the standard size. So. It's a pretty nice feature. And here it is on high speed. No wobble, it's very well balanced. And uh, you know, it's, it's kicking a good amount of air around. Only drawn about 0.54 amps on high, so it's rather energy efficient as well. I'm not sure if this fan was an Energy Star rated fan or not. I remember seeing that in Home Depot's catalog many years ago. Maybe this fan was made before Energy Star. I don't know, but either way, it is very energy efficient. Only half an amp on high speed is pretty good. And it's drawn or it's pulling 66 watts. So very energy efficient. We'll go ahead and shut her down and watch her coast. Like I said, the bearings are in great shape on it, so it's going to take a while to coast. But, you know, I figured I got a couple of these. I don't really have any plans for them. They're in really nice shape. I didn't want to part them out. So I figured, you know, why not try cleaning them up and putting them on eBay, see what I can get for them.
The other thing too is you, you can't really find antique brass fans anymore. So, you know, who knows? Maybe somebody's looking for one and they don't want to pay a whole lot of money for it. This fan is certainly no Casablanca, but you know, it's in really nice shape. I wouldn't say it's vintage. But you know, it's got nice walnut blades on it too, which is a really nice look. It is reversible, the reverse switch does work. I just don't wanna make this video crazy long, but it does work. And we're still coming down to a stop. These were pretty good fans, very well built. A lot of people rag on these, a lot of collectors rag on these for being, you know, common and whatnot, but I can definitely appreciate them for what they are. They're definitely a, uh, a solid builder fan, maybe even a step above a builder fan, who knows. still coasting I tell you folks that's how you know you got a good fan is when it takes forever to stop that's uh, that's a very good sign that the fan's got good bearings and it has a good amount of life left in it well all right that's uh pretty much it for me here thank you for watching and uh, more to come if you have any questions, please uh, refer to the eBay ad in the description and message me directly. I'd be more than happy to uh, answer any questions. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.